All right, welcome back to Pharmacist on Call. Your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, community pharmacist of the world. We're gonna get right back into your calls. So it looks like we've got Letitia. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call, let me help you. Uh, yes, I just want to know how much is the uh, purple label bottle? This? For the for immune system. Oh, uh, okay, so the Dr. Pruitt's potion, the immune support, the small bottle for an individual person, it's four ounces, it's nineteen ninety nine. The family size bottle, which is eight ounces, that is thirty nine ninety nine. So essential essentially twenty and forty. Okay, I think that's all I have for right now. Okay. All right, thank you for your call. Okay, thank you. Nice to be ma'am. All righty, bye-bye. Yep. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, it comes in two sizes because people's needs are different. Y'all, I think we sold 40 bottles of this stuff uh, Monday after we had made them all on Sunday. So this stuff is moving quick. Uh, the word of mouth is crazy. So uh, people are coming in and they're buying multiple bottles. People buying like four and five bottles, calling their relatives out of town and shipping it. I mean, we're getting online orders from D.C., Maryland, South Carolina, North Carolina. Uh, Memphis, which is why I decided to carry the Champions Pharmacy because we were getting a lot of orders out of that area. Uh, so people who have called and said after their first dose, they said they start to feel better. So this is not something that takes a while to work. Uh, so stimulating your immune system and letting your immune system do the work is everything. All right, so we're gonna talk about something else with regards to our, okay, well it looks like we've got another call here. So let's get back to that one. Pharmacist on call, let me help you. Hey, Dr. Pruitt, this is Linda again. Yes, ma'am. I, I was reading about the um, potion that you have. Yes, ma'am. Uh, if I'm taking lisinopril and hydrochlorothiazide, is that still okay to take that? Yes, it is, and you're going to find that it adds to the blood pressure lowering effect. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I just want to make sure. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Um, bye -bye. All right, bye-bye. Right, and sidebar, uh, in addition to the immune system effects of the potion, you're going to get benefits in terms of your diabetes. You're going to get blood pressure lowering. People have been coming in saying that their allergies are getting better. People are saying that their body aches are getting better. People are saying that they're able to fall asleep now. So there are other unintended but good side effects from the potion other than what I attended, which was the immune system. So this thing does more than immune support. Pharmacist on call, let me help you. Hello? Hello? How can we help you, sir? Yes, sir, AJ here. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm calling and try to get a little clarity on your CKLS. Yes. And is this, I know it's a colon cleanse. Okay. But I'm just, I'm thinking, is this a, say if I want to do it for one time, are you saying I need to be on this continuously or? if I want to do it at every, so, so once every six months. Yeah, this is something or, that you can do periodically, yes. Okay, okay. And I guess the amount of pills in there is good for like one month? No, How no, you, longer than that. Five? There are 100 pills in there. So if you're doing five, four, so that's, that's nine, three, 12, and three is like 15, that's just one round mm -hmm. of cleanse. So you can conceivably, a bottle lasts me probably close to a year. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, so you can, you don't have to do it every day, but you get that periodic cleanse in, you can do that quarterly, but the idea behind it is when you stop going to the bathroom two or three times a day, then it's time to get on another cleanse, because you, conceivably, you should be going to the bathroom about three times a day. And saying I'm not doing that. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, all right, that's what I want to know. Yes, sir. All right, thank you for your call. Thank you. Uh-huh, all right, bye-bye. Okay, let's see what we got here. Judy, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. Let me help you. Hello, Judy? Judy. Yes, huh? Uh, thank you, Dr. Pruitt. Yes, ma'am. Yes, hi. How can we hi. help you? Okay, I'd like to know, does the product that you have called CLK, oh, wait a minute, CLKS, does it clear up, as, cure the asthma, or do you have a product that with asthma? That helps with respiratory issues. Uh, I would think this guy here, this helps with uh, 
COPD, I believe. Asthma relief, you may get with this, but it's because it has the anti-inflammatory effect. The the potion here. Uh-huh. Yeah, and then I think, I wanna say eucalyptus also uh, helps with breathing problems. Does it cure the asthma, the eucalyptus, or just no. kinda ease it? No, there's no curing asthma. It's your body's response to a, uh, a, a foreign invader and sometimes that's more pronounced in some people more than others. So you have a higher activation of your body's immune system than I would. So I don't think there's any curing of that. Okay. But there's All treatment. Right, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the, for the privilege of your time. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Have a good evening. You too. Bye. All righty. Bye bye. Sandra, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I may help you. Hi, Dr. Pruitt. How you doing? Pretty good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I was calling about your uh, show. It's, I, I really enjoy it. I was, uh, it's very interesting in a lot of things that's going on with me right now. Okay. Uh, I wanted to uh, ask you about the Dr. Pruitt's potion. Uh, do they come in a liquid? Yes, ma'am. It is liquid. Okay, I have a handicapped daughter. She was in a car wreck and she's brain damaged from there. And she's had a slight cough for the last, and she, she don't go anywhere much, uh, nothing. I wouldn't say, she, we, I took her to the emergency room. She had no COVID or nothing like But she just has this cough because she lay a little bit more. I had to flip her and turn her every two hours. So I wanted to know, would that be good for me to give Erica? Would it be good for her to take? You think? Does she have a history of asthma? No, but when when she was in that car wreck, she has a re she had a slight respiratory. Erica's rather healthy. It's just that cough she been had for the last. Mm, it's been a while, about a month. Okay, have the air filters in the house been changed? Yes, I did do that. I okay. did that recently. Um, okay. I don't know. Uh, she has not asthma or anything. She had, uh, you know, a collapsed long from that, but it's been Erica, she was in a record 17, but now she's 41. Okay. okay. And, and I just want to know, she's healthy, but I just want to know what that um, portion is yeah. good for her. Yes, ma'am. So the reason that I put the raw honey in there is the honey shortened the duration of the respiratory issues that patients were having with COVID-19. So, okay. yes, ma'am. Okay, well, uh, do y'all have a website that you can go to and order? Uh, I, I live here in Laverne, Tennessee. Yes, I'm here in that. Yeah, go to PruittsDiscountPharmacy.com and then click okay. on the store tab and it will take you to our online store and you'll see this on there. Okay, and then about the, I have diabetes. That's CKLS Detox. I, I was wondering would that be good for me, you know, as far as diabetes. My, my diabetes is a little... I have my blood sugar be high. I need. I heard you a few minutes ago talking to someone about um, it was something that they took that they lowered their blood sugar and their blood pressure. Yeah, CKLS, but I would prefer you do beetroot juice. So this is what we use for blood pressure and diabetes. He went pretty hard with that CKLS. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I, but I recommend this. I'm just letting you know his results so but yeah do the okay. uh, the beetroot juice and the alkaline the water and that will help your blood sugar and your blood pressure okay thank you so much yes, i appreciate you all right and for again you. enjoy I, mean, I enjoy all right i appreciate you watching thank you ma'am all right thank you all bye right bye-bye okay pharmacist don't call me help you hello hello sir how can we help you welcome to pharmacist don't call uh thank you for answering my call uh, my question is, is, uh, does, uh, opioids, do they cause any type of bruising? Bruising? I, I don't, yes. I don't think so. Now, most of the problems are going to be, uh, within the stomach, um, in the GI tract because they do cause constipation and they do, of course, cause the sickness once you try to come off of them. Bruising, I would think blood thinners. Blood thinners. Uh huh. Things like Coumadin, Plavix. Well, see, I've been taking the, you know, the 81 milligram. Mm hmm. And I noticed that on, on my, like what my temple is on my forehead, I've been noticing I've been having like a little discoloration, like it's a, 
like it's a like a bruise or something there. And I, I didn't know if if uh, you know what was maybe if if one of those either the you know either the uh, eight hundred one milligrams or opioids is causing that or something like it. I would get some blood work done to make sure that you don't have a proclivity towards bleeding and that the aspirin may be making that worse. But I don't think it's the opioids. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I appreciate it. All right, thank you, sir. Yes, sir, thank you. All righty, all right, bye-bye. All right, everyone, we're up on a break. You all stay right there. We'll be right back.